Hello Capricorn! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan, illustrated by Mark Evans. Website on the bottom is Llewellyn.com. Uh, feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you would so like, of course. Supportive Oracle cards are Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. Websites on the back here, ToriHartman.com, WatkinsPublishing.co.uk, and WatkinsPublishing.com. Of course, freeze frame on any of that, if you would like that. What do we have? There's the breath. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? Um, there's the, uh, I'm just trying to take it slowly because I'm not really sure, I'm already like, I'm not sure if I like it, but I feel like you need to know, so if this hits, it hits, if it doesn't, it doesn't, um, there's been a lot of effort in whatever this is. Typical of Capricorn, you put effort into that you're, of which you're going to get something out. You don't just throw away your time. You don't throw away your money. You don't throw away your whatever you want to put it in there. Whatever you're putting in, you're doing that to get something out. If you help somebody, it's because they mean something or you believe there's something you're going to get out of that. Like you help them because they mean something to you and you want them to do well. So that's what you're getting out of it. You're sustaining that relationship. Like I know of a Capricorn that helps their children a lot. They are very selfless for their children, but they care about their children. Like they're getting that, the joy of that relationship. They care for them. Like, I don't know, to me that still seems like you're getting something out of it. Like they want them to thrive, so they put a lot of effort into that to make sure they thrive. You know what I mean? They're investing in the relationship. I should say that. Maybe that makes better sense. Whatever you've been investing in, this has been going on, it feels like quite a while. And currently the energy is like I'm stepping back and I'm trying to let it kind of be more sustainable, self-sustainable. I'm trying to let this be more self-sustainable. It seems like it's just it's just time to do so. That's and I do feel like that's the correct way to do it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I'm saying that because what I see coming next. Something is gonna take a turn. Whatever you've been working with, if it's been a person or a job, whatever it may be, um, that's taking a quick change. Something is coming in and changing the whole atmosphere. The whole atmosphere. Um, this is almost like, you know, oh, I hate this analogy, but I'll give it because that's what I got. It's like you, if you dated for somebody for five years, you've been engaged for to them for like two or three almost <laughs> and then they're like you know what Capricorn I don't I don't think I want to do this um and I'm just and I feel like I'm like what another analogy is like maybe there's a friendship and you do a lot of things with this person you've been helping them teaching them and they've been helping you back along the way where they can but you've actually gotten them up to a point where they're doing really well and um, you were going to open a business together, but now they're like, you know what, I think I'm going to do this on my own Capricorn, but thanks. And it's kind of like, I taught you to do this and invested in you because I thought we were going to do this together. Something like that. It feels something like that. I'm going to give one more analogy because it's just, I want to make sure I'm hitting it right. Another one is like, I've been working at a certain job and I've been increasing my skill set. I've been learning things. I've been doing things differently. I've even probably taken some seminars, done some self-help modules, whatever, to like learn how to do this better, learn how to organize that better, learn how to deal with other people who don't match my rhythm, stuff like that. I've been putting a lot of effort into things and like, because I'm gonna go somewhere with it. And then it's kind of like, they're like, you know what? Um, we're not going to be hiring for that anymore or that position, whatever the position you were going for has now been eliminated. Something like that. 
Uh, maybe even you get laid off. I hate to say that, but I feel like you'll know if this is going to hit or not. Because it comes in really fast. It comes in really fast, and whoever makes the change, whoever makes this decision, does not have any apologies for it. They're just kind of like, well, you know, this is how it goes, Cap. That's how it happens, Cap. And bye. Um, and they don't hang around. The change happens quickly, and they're gone. They inform you of, a, of the change and how things are going to be going differently, and then they don't feel at all bad about it. And they're like, well, hey, that's how the cookie crumbles. You know how it goes. And I got to go. Bye. Um, what are they doing is a good question. Is there more with that? Because, like, I don't It seems like it's a mystery about what's really going on to you. Like, really? That just happened? Like, I did not expect it to happen. Um, uh, I was going to say the tower isn't out, but guess what? It is. <laughs> so, um... High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles. They're taking. They're they're not ex, they're not explaining. I don't think when you find out about it, I don't think it's new. It's just new to you. This is the. T it's right here. I just. It's right there. You're not at all expecting this change. Um, not at all expecting it. It just feels like things are very distorted. They don't make sense. Um, I don't understand why this is happening. Are they serious? Are they joking? Like, are they joking? Because this, why would, why are they doing that? Um, are you serious? Are you literally serious? Because it's not funny if you're joking. It's not a funny joke. Like, are you serious? They are serious. Um, I do see you trying to kind of talk it out or trying to communicate about it or kind of like, I'm not looking to just lose all that effort I put into this. So, like, are you sure, like, that's what you are, like, if you thought this out, like, what are you doing? Where are you going? Like, why are you doing this? Like, why is this happening? Um, I don't feel like I'm able to change the course of whatever's happened. This, like, I don't know how to explain that. Um, it's gone. Like, whatever it is, is gone. The possibility is gone. I try to understand it, try to see if there's somewhere else we can go with it, see if there's some type of recouping anything with this, and it's just like, it's a fruitless win. People might agree with you and go, okay, you make sense, but you're still not getting what you want. Um, you, I feel like you can get people to agree with you, but you're still not getting the outcome you want. So I keep like, I don't know, there might be fruitless talks. Like where people are like, yeah, you, you make sense. Yeah, I understand that you're right, but it's still not going to happen that way. That's what I keep getting. Like, yeah, Capricorn, you're right, but it's still not going to happen that way. Um, it's really kind of like, whatever this is, can we get like, is there more for Capricorn on that? Because I'm like, if this is going to hit, they're just trying to give you a heads up so you're prepared for it as much as you can be. Ace of Cups and... The, the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Um, I see these cards here at the end. Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You're not going to like it when this happens. This, this, the way this is playing out, I don't see you going, well, that's fair. Even though I do get something better coming for you later... I more fear like I more feel that this has to be pushed out of the way. Whatever this is isn't actually it's not matching what you truly desire in the sense of like there's a certain level of outcome and the where you're going it's kind of like I expect this level of outcome but this situation is not capable of giving you the outcome you deserve. And I feel like it's being removed as an obstacle. It's I feel like at this when this happens, I don't see you looking at it that way. Kind of like, no, this isn't an obstacle. This is what I want. This is what I expect. And it's just, it's being moved out of the way. Something else is going to replace it. And it is more um, complementary to your gifts. There's somebody here who communicates a lot better. But the communication, because I'm like looking at this, I see a couple air sign energy here. I don't think it's an air sign, just to be fair. What I keep getting is like somebody who talks about things the way that you talk about things. Like when you have a conversation, 
they sort out information the way you sort out information and you can add it together and you're very good at whoever this is is going to complement your style as much as you complement their style so i don't know it does seem to sound a little bit like a relationship thing it doesn't have to be and if it is a relationship it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship it could be a business relationship a friendship whatever somebody is leaving another one is coming in probably not right away uh, that's subjective. Um, I mean, it's a general read. It's subjective. So I, I probably not right away, but something else better. Because I feel like when I see the quest card here, it's like I got halfway across the continent, whatever continent you're on. <laughs> and it's kind of like, okay, I got halfway where I want to go. And now the person I was doing this with just kind of ditched me. Like, now what? Somebody else comes in and they, they're they going to finish the, the trip with you. But this person is kind of like, I feel like I'm enjoying the second half of this trip 10 times more than I was the first half. And I didn't really think I wasn't enjoying the first half. Like, I thought I was enjoying the first half. And when I'm enjoying the second half 10 times more, I'm just like, I didn't realize it could be this good, but it clearly is. That's what I see coming for you in this turn of events. Um, the upheaval, the upheaval is with, I, I mean, I don't have any control over that, obviously. I feel like, again, this reading's coming to you if it's hitting, just kind of like a heads up. This is what's happening. This is what's coming your way, just so you know, so you can kind of see it coming. Hopefully more in the sense of like, once you see what it is and kind of like, well, I guess it's going, move more towards acceptance on your terms, clearly, but move more towards accepted, acceptance when it's appropriate. So that way, once you've accepted and let that energy go, the new energy that can be much more beneficial to you can come in a lot easier. Are we good? I think we're good. I'm going to shut that down there. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.